This is Heather and I'm going to show you how to manually update your WordPress website. Uh, WordPress does have functionality in the background so that it will automatically update on its own. Um, but if for some reason you need to go in there and manually update it, I'm going to sh show you how to do that from the dashboard. Um, usually there's a message when you log in. Uh, if you don't see a message for some reason, just go to Dashboard Updates. You'll see updates for any plugins that you have, any themes that you have, and actual WordPress itself. What I advise is to first update any plugins that need updating. Check your website, make sure those functionalities are still working, everything's working fine, come back and do the rest of the updates. Um, and you should also deactivate your plugins before updating them, if possible. Um, this is exactly how we update these themes. This is exactly the same as we, how we update plugins. You just click Select All and say Update Themes. In the Plugins case, it will say Update Plugins. All you got to do is press the button and wait a few moments until uh, it's ready. There we go. It's all done. Now we'll return to WordPress updates. If you have a lot of updates that need to be made, it might take a lot longer than what we just had happen. So once all your plugins and themes are updated, you'll click the Update Now WordPress uh, button. That's all it, all it takes. So when you're all done with plugins and themes, update your WordPress and making sure that your site worked after you updated each of those. If it worked fine, then go ahead and update WordPress. And just for the privacy of this client, I'm not going to show you that website. But I did check it, and it's fine. And now we'll wait um, for WordPress. You can see that it's loading after I press the button. Um, you'll just have to wait um, because it's installing the new WordPress package. So it's just a click of a button. And make sure when it's all done that you do check the website, make sure it's functioning properly like it used to. And if it is, then you're good to go. If it's not, hopefully you had backups in place. You should always be backing up your website. And if it's not working, go ahead and restore backup or uh, talk to your web designer about how, uh, you know, about what happened, what you updated. Take a screenshot of all updates and let them know the problem. You know, you know, this is what's going on. Can you fix it? And there we go. And now we're running the latest version of WordPress. That's all there is to it.